This demonstration highlights the usability improvements in Geomedia. First, the bar and pie charts. They're just another thematic type in Geomedia. Select the attributes you want to include in your chart, assign colors and size, choose a boundary, and you're done. Hover over a pie chart and you'll see the statistics. You can also adjust the tilt and thickness for the best display. or vary the display according to your preference. And add symbols and statistics to help display your geospatial data in a simple summarized representation directly in the map display. Next is labeling. As you may know, Geomedia has a powerful labeling capability enabling the creation of very sophisticated rules. In GMedia 2015, you can now share those rules across the department, the organization, or the enterprise. Get your labels the way you want them, then simply name and save your legend, and the definitions will be saved. Once you've saved them, they can be exported to a library and reused across the enterprise. One of the challenges our users have had is being able to display both vector data and imagery accurately in different projections. Here's a quick example. We change the coordinate system and the imagery ends up not matching the vector data. Geomedia now has an option to select advanced image processing. This will apply rigorous reprojection to the imagery and give you the accuracy you need when reprojecting. Geomedia 2015 also enables easier exporting of data to Microsoft Excel. You can bring up a data window and select the data you need. And then easily copy and paste it into Excel for further analysis. That concludes this brief demonstration of some of the usability improvements included in Geomedia 2015.